Those of you who keep going back to day one on your program, <laughs> I'm talking to you. All or nothing will get you nowhere. It's more important for you to just show up and do your best and surrender the rest. All or nothing will get you nowhere. And this chick, I am a reformed all or nothing kind of girl. And I had to embrace the fact that if it takes me 45 days to do a 21 day program, that's okay. But I don't ever go back to day one because I've never failed. I've never quit. I might get off track or off kilter or fall out of alignment, but it's my imperfect journey and that's okay. It's not something to feel bad about. It's not something to have shame around. It's my journey and it's your journey. Okay. So you don't need to go back to day one, write that down. All or nothing will get me nowhere. So just commit to where you're at. Commit to getting your water in. Commit to moving your body, even if it's for five minutes a day. I give you a gold star for five minutes a day. Will that transform your body? Will you meet your weight loss goals? Are you going to have epic results? No, you won't. But sometimes it's not about that. It's not about the number on the the scale or the size of your clothes or how much your body is transformed. It's about getting those emotional, mental, psychological wins that come when you choose to show up every single day. Mm Mm-hmm. Truth. Write that down too if you want. Okay. And the other thing is that every setback leads to a stronger comeback. And so some of you are in the throes of some major setbacks. I get it. I see it. I hear it. Stop talking about it because it's not serving you. And unless you're going to talk about it and use it as a way to inspire other people and to move forward, you're using it as a crutch. Okay. So every setback leads to a stronger comeback, allow the setback to happen and then stop driving through your rear view mirror because it's not serving you. You are meant to look through your forward, your forward window. You were meant to look through the windshield of your life, not to keep rehashing what happened. And this is so unfair. And why is it all so hard? I don't know why it's so hard. And my therapist, when I was having a moment like that, she said that not everything in life happens for a reason. We get to assign the reason. So I'm asking you and challenging you to assign the reason to that and to not allow it to define you, to not allow it to keep you stuck and to hash around in it. It doesn't feel good. So honor it, feel it, and then make the commitment that you're gonna take teeny tiny baby steps out of it. And how do you do that? By doing your energy practice, by listening to, I don't know, things that inspire you, by surrounding yourself with people who are going to up level you, by not feeding the monster in your brain and just rehashing it. Okay. So every setback leads to a stronger comeback and a comeback just means you didn't quit. And if you're in this group, to me, none of you are quitters. You might struggle. It might take you longer than any of us thought that maybe that you thought and it might disappoint you that you're not further along in your journey. I've certainly been there, but I'm telling you that every single day you show up every single day, you drink your water every single day, you move your body every single day. You make an effort to show up as that stronger version of yourself. You're winning. And it's not going to be an overnight thing. So stop waiting for it to be it's just like with weight loss. Like, you know, we have like three salads and we work out for four days and we're like, what the hell? Like, why do I not have these results? It's not how it works. It's not how it works. And it's not how it's supposed to work. This isn't a quick fix. This isn't some kind of miracle thing. This is your life. This is your journey. And there is no right or wrong way to do it unless you hit the total stop button and you completely quit. But if you're in this group, you haven't quit. You might've had a pause. You might've had, you know, a plot twist. You might've had to hit the brakes for a teeny tiny bit as you slow down and reassess and realign, but that's okay. And I want you to start celebrating that. I want you to start honoring it. I want you to find the victory in the fact that you're still here and you're still watching these and you're still showing up and plugging in. And so if you have been off track and you have been driving through your rear view mirror, that's okay. I don't want you to spend another second beating yourself up. I just want you to take this moment right now on this Thursday afternoon to draw your line in the sand and to recommit to your journey because it's your, it's your imperfect, most epic, amazing journey. And this is your most epic, amazing life. And this body that has gotten you to this point is a beautiful thing. No matter what flaws you, you want to focus on, don't focus on the flaws, focus on all the victories. You guys, that is the fastest way to get momentum in your journey.
It's not about being inspired. It's not about all of a sudden waking up with enough energy or enough money or all of a sudden you have this like new peer group. No, it's about you making the decision to honor who you've been and where you've been and then to take the action, the teeny tiny baby steps forward. Every time you drink, you have some water. Every time you move your body. Every time you plug in here. Every time you take some you take, you take action towards becoming a healthier, happier, saner version of yourself, not a skinnier, smaller, leaner, tanner version of yourself. That's not what this group is all about. And if that's what you're here for. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but <laughs> we're here for the heart work and the mind work and the self-talk work and the accepting yourself where you are right now in this journey and honoring it and celebrating it. So you're doing it right. No matter where you're at in your journey, no matter what has happened, I want you to know you are doing it right. Just don't hit, don't quit. Just don't quit. You're doing it right. All or nothing will get you nowhere. And every setback leads to a stronger comeback. So figure out what your playlist is. Figure out what mantras you need to remind yourself of when things get hard and you get tired and you feel like you're not moving as fast as you should be or your journey isn't evolving or you're not leveling up or getting those results or attracting the right people. I'm telling you that you are doing it right. And as long as you put one foot in front of the other, even if it's imperfect, even if you stumble, even if you're not sure what you're doing, practice makes practice gets us there. What's the word? I don't know. I lost my mind. I lost my thought there. <laughs> so anyways... Drink your water tonight. Remind yourself of your truths. If you have been off track and you are not in alignment with who you want to become, you are the only person that can edit that. You are the only person that can course correct. It is no one else's responsibility to get you back on track. So stop waiting for the hero. You are the freaking hero in your own damn story, sister. You are the hero. So I believe in you. I'm here if you need me. Just commit to showing up and doing your best and surrendering the, the rest. So if you get five minutes in, I want you to celebrate that as a victory. I want you to start adding up all the ways that you're rocking this and that you are getting momentum and that you are doing it right because you're doing it right. So if you need anything, you know where to find me. I'm grateful for all of you and that you're on this crazy journey with me because it's not perfect and it's not smooth sailing for any of us. We all have our own shit. We all have our own reasons to stop and to quit and to give up. But at the end of the day, showing up and being the best version of yourself is something that we owe to ourselves first and foremost. So show up tonight, drink your water, remind yourself of your truths, watch those energy videos over in the unit section of this group, do some freaking EFT, some emotional freedom technique. And if there's something that really works for you, if you're super into meditation or journaling or gratitude practice or petting cats, whatever. Like, let us know what works for you. Honor your journey and remind yourself that you're doing it right.